educational program. This is episode 9, vocabulary and set of questions. Before we start looking or taking a look at the unit, let's take a few tips for answering set of questions. Make sure to read all the questions carefully. Remember that the questions are of general nature, so you can use previous knowledge or the textbook information. Write full, meaningful sentences and provide two causes, reasons or effects whatever the question asks from you. Pay attention to the handwriting and spelling and revise your answers. This is Unit 10. In Unit 10, we will be discussing pushing the limits. When you hear the word pushing the limits, there might be a few words that come up in your mind such as adventure, a journey, being famous, setting a record, and overcoming fears. Here is a question. Why do people push themselves to the extreme limits? And what difficulties do people face when they go on an adventure? You can see here a few pictures that might help you write the answer down. First, we have a red carpet which means people might push themselves to the extreme li limit to become famous. You might also want to overcome a fear you have or overcome obstacles. You might also want to become a hero and do something impressive or make your family proud. Let's put them in words. Reasons why people push themselves to the extreme limit are being famous, Overcoming fear, having visible confidence, being elite, be more exhilarated, an attempt to break records, assist your family financially. Now, let's take a look what these words mean. First, we have the word visible. When I said visible confidence, Visible is an adjective that means able to be perceived, able to be seen. You can see it with your eyes. For example, the rainbow was visible after the rain. You can see it. The word elite is a noun. That means a group of people considered to be the best in a certain category. For example, only a small elite can afford to send their children to accredited universities. And the word exhilarated means very happy. For example, the players felt exhilarated after winning the match. They were very happy. Also, the word attempt, when I said an attempt to break records, is a noun that means an effort to get a record or reach a certain target. For example, the athlete broke the high jump world record after the second attempt, the second time he tried, the second try. And the word assist is a verb when you want to assist your family, you want to help someone, typically by doing part of the work or a share of the work. For example, money would be great to assist people in need. Let's take a look at some difficulties or risks people might face when they go on an adventure. People might be afflicted with frostbite. They might face extreme cold, dizzying or ascending dizzying heights, being lost, injured. They can suffer from exhaustion or be fatigued. They can lack food or water, and it might be perilous. Let's take a look at what these words mean. First, when I said afflicted with frostbite, afflicted means to be affected in an unpleasant way. For example, the village was afflicted by serious food shortage after the lockdown. 
and frostbite. Frostbite is an injury to your body due to extreme cold. For example, two of the mountain climber, climbers were suffering from frostbite. Extreme is an adjective that means reaching a high or the highest degree. For example, the cyclist was an, extre was an extreme exhaustion after the race. Extreme, very high. And to ascend is a verb that means to climb to the summit of a mountain or hill or to go up. Example, the climber is ascending the mountain using special equipment, as you can see. And dizzying heights. Dizzying is when you feel unsteady, confused, like you see in the picture. Or, as an example, grocery shopping can be a dizzying experience if you don't prepare your list in advance. Very dizzying. And exhaustion is the state of being physically or mentally tired. For example, the survivors were suffering from exposure to radiation and extreme exhaustion. And fatigued means tired or exhausted. For example, when the runners reached the final line, they were all fatigued, very tired. And when I say it might be perilous to go on an adventure, perilous means full of danger or risk. The example says, since the journey seems to be perilous, be sure to take ne necessary safety equipment and a first aid kit. Now let's write the answer down. Why do people push themselves to the extreme limit? People push themselves to the extreme limit in order to achieve fame or fortune, or they want to make their families proud. You can add your own answers. What difficulties might some adventures entail? Entail means involve. For example, the new project entails a lot of money. So when I say, what difficulties might some adventures entail? The answer would be, people who pursue grueling adventures might face extreme cold, lack of food and water, being injured or becoming unconscious or even go missing. Grueling adventures. Grueling means extremely tiring. I describe it. Example. It was a grueling two-hour walk to the nearest facility. And when I say people might be unconscious, it means unable to see, hear, or feel what's around you. For example, the victim was found unconscious, but he was alive. Now, let me ask you this question. If you're going on an adventure, what preparations will you make? As for myself, I would make sure I have enough water and food. I would take some equipment like binoculars. I would take a first aid kit, an oxygen tank, and some clothes. Binoculars is an optical instrument used to see from a far distance. For example, Jim's binoculars were on a strap around his neck, like in the picture. Let's put them in words, full meaningful sentences. If you're going on an adventure, what preparations will you make? In order to be well equipped for an adventure and cope with the difficulties, especially if I'm going to traverse a difficult path, I will take enough food, water, equipment I need, a first aid kit, and some clothes. To cope with means to deal effectively with something difficult. For example, will the new secretary be able to cope with the work pressure, work with, deal with? And traverse is to travel across or through. For example, to get, the to, get to the highest mountain peak, we will have to traverse a very rocky path, travel through. This is Zaid Arifai. 
Zayd al-Rafa'i is a famous mountaineer. His aims, he had a few aims to scale the seven summits. Now, he had aims to scale, meaning to climb up or over something high. For example, who was the first woman to scale the world's highest peak? Summit is a noun that means the highest point of a hill or mountain, the peak. For example, the climbers failed to reach the summit because it was over 10,000 feet high. Now, he had aims to scale the seven summits. His first aim was to highlight the importance of protecting the environment from austere conditions. Highlight meaning to pick out and emphasize. For example, we should highlight the importance of voluntary work. And austere means severe or strict in manner. Example, climbers wanted to shed the light or highlight on austere conditions. Now, his aim was to highlight the importance of protecting the environment from austere conditions and to inspire other Arabs to become involved in the sport through his feats as a mountaineer. Feats is an achievement that requires great courage, skill or strength. Example, the knight was rewarded when the king heard of his feat. And mountaineer, Zayd al-Rafai is a mountaineer, meaning a person who takes part in the sport or activity of climbing mountains. Example, Zayd al-Rafai was an excellent mountaineer who made some important accomplishments. Here are a few qualities that you must have in order to pursue ad an adventure. Like being patient, being brave, being fit, strong, a hard worker. You have to crave adventure, be self-confident and strong-willed. To crave, like when you crave chocolate, is to feel a powerful desire for something. For example, you should always crave success and be determined to achieve it. And strong-willed means determined stubborn to do something. For example, the young boy wants to be like his father, who is determined and strong-willed athlete. What were Zayd al-Rifai's aims to climb the seven summits? We just discussed them. You may pause the video, try to recall them. He wanted to highlight the importance of protecting the environment and inspire other Arabs to become involved in sports, through his feats as a mountaineer. And what qualities do people need to push themselves to the extreme limits? People need to be patient, brave, or strong. They may also want to build up their self-confidence, work hard, and have a strong will. Let's take a new word, reconstruction. Reconstruction is a noun. It means the action or process of rebuilding something after it has been damaged or destroyed. For example, work has begun on the reconstruction of the roads after the heavy rain. Here are more words you should know. Arson, which is a noun that means the criminal act of intentionally, on purpose, putting something on fire. Example, if someone is convicted of arson, they will go to jail for more than five years. Alight is an adjective to describe something on fire or burning. Enemy soldiers caused an arson and everything was alight, was on fire. Engulf is to sweep over something, for example, the whole village was engulfed by the flood. Let's take a few phrasal verbs. We will learn some phrasal verbs with the verb come, like come down, come up, come round, come across, come away with, and come over. 
To come up is to be mentioned. For example, the child came up with an idea of a card. Unexpected idea came. To come round means to recover after being unconscious. Example, the patient needs time to come round after the surgery. Come across is to meet someone or find something by chance. For example, the girl came across her cousins when she was in the mall. To come down is to become lower. Example, prices come down during the sales, they become lower. And to come over means to visit. For example, Julie and her sister will come over for, for lunch on Sunday. Come away with is a result after doing something. For example, our team came away with the first prize. They had a result, which was the first prize. Let's practice the vocabulary words. Choose the correct answer. After the girl fell and hit her head on the ice, it was 10 minutes before she. So she was unconscious. It was 10 minutes before she came round. The doctor performed a remarkable by saving the boy's life. Now, here the doctor performed something remarkable. I would say feet. Now, fill in the spaces with these words. As we were walking up the mountain, we came across, found something by chance, a small campsite. When you are next in town, it would be great to come over. Very good. Visit. A job has at the Polar Research Center. I may apply for it. Come up was mentioned. The road signs must be to all the road users. So when you're on the road, they must be visible seen. You can't the borders unless you have a valid visa. So you're going on a trip like to travel, I would use traverse. In this episode, we learned how to use the new vocabulary items and sentences, answer the set book questions, and you learned how to write in meaningful sentences, Thank you for watching, stay home.